<sighs> Hello, welcome to a video with moi and Baymax. Mm, Baymax is full of tea. Now, I have shot a couple of videos and I realized that I was like, ee, 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 like wired in them, and it's probably because I've had like two Baymaxes full of tea and coffee. So he's pretty big, in case you haven't noticed, like he's, he's a giant dude. So <laughs> gonna slow down a little. Hello, my name is Aziza, AKA Gourmet Pens. And today we are going to take a look at a pen from Leonardo Officina Italiana. This pen was sent to me by Stilo or Casa della Stilografica, which is stilografica.it. And um, I'm pretty excited about it because it is the large size of one of my favorite pens. So the pen is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the Caraibi finish. Caraibi? Caraibi? Uh, Caribbean? Hmm. I'm guessing it's, it's odd because the other names are Sand Copper Dark Hawaiian Coffee. So, you know, I probably should have checked how to pronounce it. You know, that's the weird thing about videos. Like, you don't think about the word because you don't really have to say it when you're writing it. And then when you have to say it, you're like, what is that? So anyway, um, let's just move on, shall we? Uh, the finish is the, the Karaibi finish. So it's like green, blue, flecked. Now, when I saw it in pictures, I thought the blue would be a bit brighter. It's a bit darker than I expected. Still very pretty. But um, let's I'll just explain something quickly about the pen. Um, five different amazing Italian resins. I told you the, the colors and they are available in steel nibs and gold nibs. So the steel nib, you can get extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.5 millimeter stub and 1.1 millimeter stub. And with the gold nib, you get, it's a 14 karat gold nib, you get extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.3 millimeter stub. The ebonite feeder is produced by Leonardo Workshops. It is a piston filler. Um, 1.2 milliliters. It is a giant converter, but the converter is not removable. So, um, just, just so you know, but it, it's, it's a pretty big capacity. Um, and it's got, it's, it's, it's a grande. So it's a larger, larger version of the Momento Zero. So the regular Momento Zero is this one. This is one of my favorite pens. Like the Momento Zero is just makes me really happy. And this is the grande. So we're going to look at these in more, or look at this one in more detail. I'll show you both of them side by side in case you're considering one or the other. Um, in case you're curious about price, which you are, as Stilografica, I'm going to give you the VAT free version because that's how I would purchase it. The steel one is 241.80 euros with um, no VAT. And the gold one is 405 euros without VAT. So they're not so super inexpensive, but it's a piston filler and they're handmade uh, by one gentleman and uh, it's a gold nib. So, you know, it's not the worst value or anything. It's a really decent pen. I really like them. Um, I don't want to give away how I feel about this particular pen because I'm going to show you in detail, but I can tell you this because you've already seen my reviews of these ones. I love the Momento Zero. So they're very pretty and I'm really happy with the writing performance. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to say about it while looking at me. We can now go down to the desk and undress the pen and do some writing with it and see how it works. And just so you know, if you want to make a purchase at Stilografica, you can use the discount code FLORENCE and you get 10% off and there's no commission or anything. It's just a nice deal for you guys. So thank you so much to Marco uh, at Stilografica. We are going to look at the pen now and do some writing and make ourselves happy with it. Bye. Okie dokie, let's unbox the Momento Zero Grande. It is a large box. I don't like large boxes, but when they have a reason, I can manage to be okay with it. Okay, now here's, <laughs> like the Omas boxes, this is, is ooh, like the sleeve is so snug. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? We're gonna do it this way. Oh my god, I'm gonna rip something. I'm gonna take the box out. <laughs> then I'll take. Okay. There we go. Ridiculous. Stupid. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, um, there we go. There is the outer sleeve. Then there is the inner box. 
and here is the actual box. So it's a big clamshell, and we open it up. You have Memento Zero Grande, handmade in Italy. Uh, it shows you, do not remove the piston from the section. Uh, here is your certificate of authenticity, so it's just got like details about the pens and stuff. The models, so your here's where your pen would be sitting. It comes with a bottle of Leonardo Turquoise, which I have in the pen. Um, I love the bottle, and I actually love the color too, which is fabulous. So that is the box. I love that it comes with an ink. I think that's a really nice touch, especially for the Grande. It's just like a little bit of an added thing to make your experience a little nicer. It also comes with this. Boy, I sounded like Kermit the Frog there. Experience. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so let's look at the pen. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking pen. So I've got the lights on so you could see the finish better. Um, it's got the sharp little conical thing. And if you want to look at the differences of the size, there we go. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same pen. It's just a bit bigger. Everything is just a little more spread out. At first, I really didn't like it because I was like, oh, it looks really disproportionate. Um, the cap felt too small compared to the pen. The section felt too big, but it has grown on me. So the clip is springy, very nice clip with the little roller at the end, nothing on the cap. The barrel says Leonardo Officina Italiana. This was number 358. Uh, it's numbered, but it's not limited. And if we unscrew this, this is the piston. So there's the blind cap, but if you can actually open up the entire section to look at it, beautiful piston, I'm oh, sorry, uh, con well, piston converter. I really like that they add this extra touch to the converters and I just think it makes it a little more classy, a little more elegant. I really, it's just like a small thing that I really appreciate. The converter is super thick. You can see that it is quite wide. And if we compare it to the Grande, which also has the really pretty end, um, you can see that the Grande, oh, sorry, the regular one uh, is much smaller. So in comparison, um, you definitely have a larger ink capacity and they have made use of the larger size of the pen in general. But it is fused, so do not remove it um, or you will have some issues. Everything is really smooth. It works really well. Um, let me close this up. In hand, it's, it's a bigger pen. Uh, I, I didn't care for it. I didn't really like how long the section was. I didn't really care for the design of the section, but the pen has definitely grown on me. I'm a little, like, I'm more okay with it now. And if we want to post, it's big. It's a big pen. You probably don't really need to post it, but if you had to, if you really like to post your pens, you can. Let's take a look at the nib. We have a 14 karat broad. I know this is not ideal, but it's just, you know, that's just the way it is. 14 karat broad, laser engraved, single slit, round breather hole. The tipping is nice and tidy. Um, ooh. Uh, ebonite feed. The Oma style ebonite feed, like the flat ski slope thing. And uh, yeah, so... Overall, I think it's a really good looking pen. Um, it's As I said, it has definitely grown on me. I did not care for it at first. It felt, after having the regular size, it just felt like really weird to me. Like the, the proportions looked funny to me and I just, I don't know, I didn't care for it. But let's do some writing. Get my notebook. The paper we are going to use is Tomo. Okay. I'm going to just zoom out a bit, sorry. Okay. It is a very lovely writer. Oh, sorry, you can't see me. We have the Leonardo Momento Zero. Grande. This is the Karaibi finish. Right? That's how you would say it, right? Karaibi. Um, 14 karat 
broad. The broad is quite stubby, which is something we found with the like the Omas nibs. You see this with Mont Blanc nibs, uh, that the broader nibs tend to be stubby or shaped instead of round. Um, you often get it with the Pelicans as well. Um, as you saw, the ink is Leonardo turquoise, very beautiful turquoise ink. Um, it has some red sheen, shades well, well behaved. It's, it's a really nice ink. I'm really happy with it. Uh, in terms of wetness, it is quite wet. The nib is smooth, but yields ever so slightly, but it's more on the firm side for sure. If you're the kind of person that likes a, a writing experience that is slightly yielding, so you don't have like a rock solid nail, but you don't want something that's super bouncy, it's a great nib. Very, very pleasant for that. It does work on the reverse, still quite stubby, um, but just drier. So it's actually quite decent. Um, I think this nib would actually be quite suitable for some nib work if you wanted to have something done to it, something fun done to it. Yep, yep. And let's remember. You can get one at stilografica.it. I will put a link for you if you are interested and if you use the discount code Florence, you can get yours at 10% off. There is no commission. It is just a discount code. So, um, Remember, we're looking at like 400 euros without VAT for this one, 405 euros um, for the gold nib version. I think it's quite lovely for the larger size. If you don't want the big size and you want to save a little bit, you can always sh switch down to the regular size. Um, but the large one is really nice for larger hands if you, if you need a thicker grip. It's quite pleasant for that. And just overall, it's, it's quite nice. Um, the weight is 35.3 grams, they say, 15 centimeters closed, um, and uncapped is 13.3 centimeters, and posted it is 17.18 millimeters. Sorry, that, that's um, length capped. Sorry, I'm just reading this off their website. That doesn't make sense. 150 millimeters. 170 millimeters and 133 millimeters. There we go. That makes more sense. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the writing. I hope you liked the pan. I hope you found it useful. If you did, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. You could find me online as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon, as well as Toronto Pen Company for workshops, calligraphy, cool tools, etc. And Toronto Pain Club. <clears throat> and Virtual Pen Show. Okie dokie. Check us out. I would appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Casa de la Stigrafica for sending this over. And we will see you next time. Bye!